at Wallingford, in the shadow of the castle. Matilda's faction, commanded by her son Henry, proved it was still willing to fight King Stephen for the crown. But after 15 years of conflict, both sides had had enough. So, they made a deal. Matilda would surrender her claim to the throne on condition that when Stephen died, her eldest living son Henry would succeed him. A year later, he was crowned King Henry II and proceeded to grow the kingdom into the mighty Angevin Empire. But once again, what the king had spent his life building, his own children were destined to destroy. King Henry II had four surviving legitimate sons, and he planned to divide up his kingdom between them. But they fought bitterly for dominance. Against the odds, Henry's youngest son, John, became king. But King John was deeply unpopular. He lost huge swathes of the Angevin Empire gained by his father, then failed to reclaim them in expensive battles. Paid for by taxing his subjects. Eventually, England's barons could take it no more. They forced John to agree to a charter that restricted his power. The Magna Carta. But he went against his word. Furious, they rebelled, inviting Prince Louis of France to invade England. In 1216, Louis sailed to Dover and set his sights on taking this. Dover Castle. Held by forces loyal to King John, it was commanded by Hubert de Burr. He described the castle as the key to England. He was right. If it fell to the French, so would the kingdom. Asked to invade by the rebel barons, Prince Louis's French army launched an assault on the castle at Dover. Opening a crack in the outer defences, the invading forces charged the castle walls. The garrison at Dover would meet the French with clenched fists and an iron will. Dover could not fall. Yes, hello and welcome back the to, well, the Dover Burr Castle. rallied his men to hold back the French and defend the castle. Hold off the French siege and as we can see, well, we do have some allies down here, I guess. And then everything else is French, basically, that are constantly going to attack us. Defeat the first French attacks. I think this is going to be a pure siege map. I hope so. And let's go ahead and train us uh, a few more. Well, of course, what we need here, Longbow Man. Do we have kind of an economy? We have a smaller economy. This is looking pretty cool. I could definitely see myself just building a house here and living off there. Who knows about that? And we definitely do need a strong economy to really, really protect ourselves there. I should also be closing the keep now or the gates now so that my units don't run out all the time. And I'm also going to, yeah, upgrade my units right away so we can do something. We can do some attacking, um, attack power there. And also for my, my longbow man, let's upgrade them to veterans and then we can train a few more. Very good. Upgrading is always the best option. First, at my town center, let's also train a few more village we don't really have a lot we still have some stone down here and no gold a bit of space that we could use for a second windmill there i guess but that's really it and as we can see lots of damage there from all sides also some crossbow man here some direct attacks to my gate so we we will need some villages as well for constant repairs unfortunately there is not a single pile of tree here this one might be possible I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if I can actually get us a lumber mill up there. That might be interesting. Alright, we really need to 
repair this tower there though. Okay, and they should be having something there as well. Upgrades are coming along. Very good. They have been upgraded. And we've also defeated the first French attack there. Backing off again. And prepared for a second, a new resistance force was building in the English countryside. Oh, down there, they belong to us now. Willikin has Skilled arrived. Bowman and fierce patriot, known as Willikin of the Weald, began to muster a resistance to the French invasion. They even have a market there Determined and some caravans. To keep the crown in King John's hands, Willikin would rally every available archer to the cause. Archers is what we need. We do have archers down here. And use the, to gather longbowmen from Dover town. And there is our hero, Willikin of the Weald. And he's got some, well, arrow volley special ability, but that's really it. And no town center, unfortunately, from what I can see. There's no town center anywhere. We only have this one here still to work with. To go for a bit of stone and to build us a second windmill over there with a bit of wood well a bit of fields there as well and then we have the caravan produce traders and i guess they have to go where are they already going somewhere archer recruits hmm no idea where these caravans are going there's the market, actually. A small market building here that my caravan is going now. So this is a constant supply of gold that would be for us. So let's just have this one as the waypoint for every new trader that comes out like this one now. Very good. And everything here has been well prepared and well repaired once more. And yeah, also more longbowmen that we can put on the walls. With his bowmen assembled... Willikin planned to ambush the French siege engines on their way to the enemy camp. Okay, there we are gathering some more. And ambush the French siege weapons to weaken the attacks. That's not going to be so easy. With a few long women, we will not be able to do that really. We have gathered. At least that's something. And I would like to get a few more knights out there for these ambushes. Because knights and riders are just really strong for that and fast. All right, use will um, the ambush French siege units, prepare for the second one and produce additional traders. That's what we are doing here already. I can get the next one. And then I still need a bit, a bit of gold there as well. So let's sell us some food. We have plenty of food and let's also send, sell us some stone. And then we can train the third trader. And the next food production down here is also working. Let's get us a few more additional farmers out there right so with the hero we have gathered a few more longbow man let's make our way over the bridge because there's these siege weapons right it's going to be i guess a bit tricky there um to increase the movement speed yes we can do this we can increase the movement speed of all our units thanks to the hero unit there and then we're just going to have an arrow volley now on them and actually we're doing quite significant damage and then to that siege unit there as well perfect Very good, so I guess it's worth it just staying here now. <laughs> Taking them out one by one. There's one that actually will arrive, but we should be fine. We, of course, continue to train more longbow men. I'm, I'm preparing for some bigger attacks there, and that's exactly what we do. And then, of course, we have some melee units down here as well. I'm also researching a few more upgrades to make them stronger. And there's the next each weapon, defenseless, basically. Very good. I guess they're coming endlessly here. And as long as I stay here in this in this area there, um, they're not getting any stronger. Meanwhile, I'm starting to yeah finally use that wood here because we do need quite a lot of wood for the longbow man, and I guess this is just a nice source of it. Of course, those villagers just have to be very careful with those trees here. Other than that, we're just waiting now another minute here for the second French attacks. So they're already gathering up there, and I guess they're going to attack at the same time. At least that is my... 
um, go here. And yeah, those siege weapons, they're a bit outside of my reach. No idea how I could go there, I guess, by rushing them. But yeah, let's just, it doesn't, I don't think it's going to matter in the long in the long run. My caravans are continuing to trade. Let's actually train a few more traders. It's just a nice steady source of gold that we get while we wait here. And I've also trained or built a few more springles here. They're pretty good for, um, well, attacking the enemy siege units. Can we actually get them on the wall? I don't think so, unfortunately, right? So we will have to just station them here. Perhaps they can fire over the wall. Something like that. Another smaller attack. I've also built up some spikes here, just in case there's some riders coming. Always worth it. Launched a renewed attack on the castle. But thanks to Willikin's ambush force, the enemy had been greatly weakened. Oh uh, yeah, significantly weakened. We have successfully did that. So this attack will definitely fail. This one is a bit harsher there, I think. But we have so many units there, and I might also just train us a few more villagers now for repairing only. Let's take those guys there. We do still... Oh, we don't have that much stone, so I might also go ahead and purchase us a bit more stone here from the market and sell us a lot of wood there at the same time. Just because we need to juggle that around there. Where are you going? Right, this attack has been destroyed. Or repelled. There is towers though, unfortunately. So this is hurting us there a bit. Get over here and protect my archers. Yes, they can actually shoot over the wall. That's a bit of a pity there. So let's take my riders and just go for them. And I will have to take care of that gate there again. Right, we did actually take a lot of damage here. Unfortunately, let's repair those buildings here. With the bit of stone that we still have. Get in there again. My, yeah, my lumberjacks are still working. Okay, now we do need to wait another seven minutes for the next attack. This time, though, I'm going to ambush these siege units. So there we have more allies. They are going to join us. And with those guys, we can then use the upper route here for attacking these guys there. There's that village. And they should hopefully join us. Very good. And there's even a monk with them that can heal us. How very good. More siege units. The cool thing is now about this one, we have the special ability to quickly move. So let's just see where they're going. I think they will be going down here and those are going to the north. Or are they all going to the north? They're all going northwards. Very good. So we can actually move up here now too. And hurry up in the process. Okay, so there they are. Not going to have much of a chance. As we can attack them now also. And let's also activate our Aaron Volley. So Aaron Volley so that we fire even faster than before. And that's basically their siege units here. And yes, they're all going this route here right now. How very convenient for us. As we can take them out one by one. Now taking care of the last siege weapon. There is actually more now to the south. And we will just rush now down there. And hopefully with the fast movement we should be getting there quickly to catch them before they can actually pass. Oh, and there's also some allies here. I love these smaller dynamic events that are happening everywhere. And we can really just help my guys out there and getting some reinforcements in the process. Perfect. So please join me. There you go. That should make it significantly hard enough for them to defend their siege weapons. There's still one more here, and that's the end of them then. Oh, and there's even an enemy monk. Perhaps we can get this one to us, but unfortunately, he dies heroically. We still have two minutes until the next attack. Let's take down that last siege weapon here too. 
By now we're getting a lot of gold here by the way, 246 per minute, thanks to all the caravans that I'm using. I've also built a few more, right, so we're still training more of them of course. And I do have some working unemployed villagers. Oh, oh I see, all the wood is gone. A very unfortunate. <laughs> can't get out here unfortunately we cannot train any more uh, villagers down here there is a bit of wood coming in right so that's actually visible we're just going to keep those um, villagers then here by the walls in order to repair them when the time has come so i'm actually going to use all of them here then 11 villagers that should do the trick nicely also since we have some resources uh, but we are at population cap so it's going to be a bit harder there but let's just go ahead and train us a few more longbowmen and a few more knighties that i definitely want to have there in case I need them. Those knights are going to be very helpful for ambushing then archers from the back. But let's wait the last minute. And the next attack is launching. We do have some reinforcements down here. archers had decimated the French reinforcements. But undeterred, the French mustered what troops they could and launched another attack on the castle. I can basically just watch in this case here. I don't have... Oh, we do have the special ability, of course, to quickly fire. So let's use that on all my units there. There is also a tower coming. This time, I would like to use some of my pikemen then to protect my archers from them, right? Because the melees up there would be nice, I guess. Here, there's not really anything coming. Here, though, they have breached it once again, but my melees there are also now here and protecting my archers for the most part. I hope so. Alright, the towers are gone, but I can quickly rebuild them once again, thanks to having my villagers close by. All about the gates there as well. But that should have been rather successful too. The third attack has been thus repelled. I'm just waiting now for the last one. Oh, there's the mangonel. Can we not attack this one? I guess I need my archers down here then. And defeat the third attack that is successful. Let's just take this one down before it can fire again. The hardy English Bam. garrison Perfect. held fast, refusing to let the castle fall to the French invaders. Willikin rallied his archers to continue strikes on the weakening French. Yes, and we continue, of course, with these attacks there. So once again, we are going to take care of the siege weapons out here in the wilderness. And thus thwarting them of any reinforcements. Oh, this time it's looking a bit harsher. Um, we don't have anything really to go against this. Uh, we don't have the spikes anymore. There we have them. I guess it's good to build them against the horses they are really strong oh and my hero here is looking a bit bad there blocked by his own troops very good though that's fine and let's take down the siege weapon there you go very nice and after a bit of time we'll take down the very last siege weapon that was on the way it does we can only now await the last attack and look at that i also love that dynamic time of day we have here with the sun coming out now in our castle and there we see the last attack now coming in the combined grit of the english garrison and willikin's surprise attacks ensured that dover hadn't fallen yet now the English prepared to repel the final French assault. Now that shouldn't be a big of a deal here. Let's also just activate our special abilities there everywhere. Just some horses now. There's the siege units coming. I do have my horses prepared in the background. If it comes to that. Alright, and there's also some attack now. Right. Oh my goodness, they're leaving the tower before they can actually arrive there. Okay, and that side is looking rather safe. I have my horsemen there taking care of the siege uh, units there. Perfect. Very good. Let's take them back home again. Up here we do have a few melees now. Taking care of some of my, my own troops, but it shouldn't be too many there. Perfect. Let's actually get some of my melees over there just for safety reasons. And my horses, now they come into play here. 
Let's just see how quickly we can take care of these siege units there. Oh, all right. He's having some lots of pikesmen there. Let's rather ride to the north there. Boy, that's a lot of stuff going on here right now. There we can take care of them. Perfect. And of these units there, very good. And then we ride over here to that unit, to that siege unit there, taking it out. I love my overseas. As we take care of them. They really don't have a chance. Let's ride to this ramp, take it out, even though my archers are doing that already. And I think that's it. Alright, there is still something over there. This one's down as well. And I think with that, we held off the French Siege. The tenacity of Hubert de Burr's loyal soldiers forced Prince Louis and the rebel barons to abandon their siege at Dover. And thanks to the efforts of Willikens' fearless archers, England remained in King John's hands.